Students in a college are discussing two proposals. Proposal A, a proposal by authorities to introduce dress code on campus of the need of the hour. <laughs> Just kidding. A proposal by the students to allow multinational food franchises to set up outlets on college campus. Glorious, glorious purpose. Wonderful proposals, all particularly important. A student does not necessarily support either of the two proposals. In an upcoming election for student union president, there are two candidates in fray, Sunita and Ragini. Every student prefers one of the two candidates. So oh, wonderful, wonderful. I like, like where this is headed. There's a classification here. It's very important to get the hang of this. There is A and B, and then there is Sunita and Ragini. Right? But there's a very important distinction here. Between A and B, there are proposals. So I can imagine a student saying, hey, I'm for proposal A and for proposal B. And you can also imagine students saying, look, I'm not for either proposal. A student does not necessarily support either of the two proposals. So A and B, you've got to imagine it in our set theory framework. So people liking A, people liking B, that is A only, B only, both A and B, neither A nor B. Whereas Sunita and Ragini are two people who are contesting elections. And so you vote for one or you vote for the other. And so there's no... The sum total of Sunita and Ragini should be the total number of people who are sitting there. And so you don't have a, the luxury of saying, I'll vote for Sunita and Ragini. You presumably don't have the luxury of saying, I'll, there's no none of the above option. You can't put nota and say, look, I don't like either of them. And so you, you are going to vote. Every student prefers one of the two candidates. And so that distinction, picking how this is classified and picking how this is classified, that's very crucial. A survey was conducted among the students by picking up a sample of 500 students. The following information was noted from the survey. 250 liked A, 250 liked B. Among the 200 who preferred Sunita as student union president, 80% supported A. Among those who preferred Ragini, 30% supported A. 20% of those who supported proposal B supported, preferred Sunita, etc, etc, etc. So I'm getting the hang of this, but I'm going to stop reading this because I want a framework to put the data in. I want, to, I, want to, I want to fill in some table. Otherwise, I'm just reading all the constraints. The first thing is all of these DLR puzzles. You need, to, you need to crack the idea of how am I going to capture this data. And if, clearly, there is a cross-tabulation involved here. There is A and Sunita, B and Sunita, A and Ragini, B and Ragini. Fine. And then A and B sit inside a nice Venn diagram. Fine. So we need to imagine the data to be sitting here in some kind of Venn diagram for A and B. So I would say how many people like proposal A, I would put that here. How many like proposal B, I'd put here. This is A only, B only, both A and B, neither A or nor B, total number of people. A standard framework for capturing data. I'm not going to put Sunita Ragini like this because there's no Sunita and Ragini. There's no neither Sunita nor Ragini. Every student votes for one of the two. So this I'm going to capture like that. The other one I'm going to capture like this. So Sunita, Ragini. So proposal A and Sunita. Proposal B and Sunita. Proposal A and Ragini. Proposal B and Ragini. Remember, the total people on proposal A, I can add A and B. This will work. And for proposal B, you put C and D. You add these two. This will work. And so 40 people who like proposal B voted for Sunita and 90 people who like proposal B voted for Ragini then 40 plus 90 130 have voted for proposal B because beyond Sunita and Ragini there's no classification whereas this direction it won't work like that it's a crucial idea because you can say there are 100 people here and another 100 here but the total could only be 160 because there's a, an overlap between these two and there's nothing outside of these two. When you're capturing data, straight away remember that this part is nice and additive. That works. If 50 people from proposal A voted for Sunita, 70 people from proposal A voted for Ragini, then 50 plus 70, 120 is for proposal A. Everybody and anybody who voted for proposal A has voted for Sunita or Ragini and only one of them. There is no both Sunita and Ragini business. There is no neither Sunita nor Ragini business. Okay? Whereas 
that would be available that would be present here and so a plus c there could be something here there could be something here 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 and the total could somewhat come out to be something very different and to keep that in mind when you're capturing data one of these data sets is in the set theory framework the other one is in a nice table framework and to keep that in mind because that distinction is going to be very crucial now let's go to the data points 250 students supported proposal a 250 proposed support proposal b wonderful 250 250 among the 200 students who preferred sunita as uh, for union president so 200 who preferred sunita totally 80% supported proposal a 160 immediately don't say 40 proposed supported proposal b not required it could be 90 it could be 100 there could be an overlap here or it could be only 20 neither could be there so that extrapolation we should not make keep that in mind right but the total for proposal a is 250 total for proposal b is 250 so far so good among those who preferred ragini 30% supported proposal a so ragini if total is x then this is 0.3x 30% of x 20% of those who supported proposal b preferred sunita 250 is the total who's were for proposal b 20% of that 20% is 1/5 1/5 of 250 this number is 50 remember 160 plus 50 is 210 that only says that there's some overlap between a and b that overlap is not 10 because there could be something in neither also fine wonderful we have plugged in the simple data points here the first four data lines have gone in beautifully inside this hmm. now think about this proposal a 160 proposed sunita the totally 250 so what will this number be that will be the remaining or this 0.3x should be 90 we already discussed how this will be additive of the 250 in proposal a some should have supported sunita the rest should have supported ragini there is no gap either way sunita plus ragini must add up to 250 it cannot be lesser it cannot be more so this is 90 0.3x is 90 x is this is 0.3x 90 by 0.3 which is 300 this is 90 but this number this is 250 this is 50 same idea this will be 200 brilliant 160 plus 90 is 250 50 plus 200 is 250 all good so far so we filled in a bunch of values let's capture all of them but well, look at this we have accounted for constraints 1 2 3 4 it is 40% of those who did not support proposal b preferred ragini so this is did not propose support proposal b this is outside number 40% of those preferred ragini so that's going to be tricky so not no no not b there will be a only and neither it will be tricky because we don't know those data points right? every student who preferred sunita and proposal b also supported proposal a this is interesting every student so in sunita one who supported proposal b also supported proposal a wonderful so proposal b is a subset of proposal a for sunita for candidates favoring sunita b is sitting inside a brilliant so totally there are 200 of which this 50 sits inside this 160 so totally there will be 160 or neither this number is going to be 40 okay. among those who preferred ragini 20% did not support any of the proposals 20% of 300 is neither they did not support any of this 20% of 300 is 60 one fifth we can now get this in this how so we know our a union b formula 90 and 200 are a and b a union b is going to be 240 this is neither we can nail that so now we put this 6 at 60 in we know that in sunita b is sitting inside a and we can find the outside number inside ragini we have 90 and 200 as as a and b and a union b to be 240 
with that we can find a intersection b we draw these two diagrams we are through fine so 160 here 50 here so outside should be 40 so neither should be 40 both is 50 because b is sitting completely inside a here 90 plus 200 is 290 minus this should be 240 a union b is a plus b minus a intersection b number of elements the cardinal number of a union b is a plus b minus a intersection b 90 plus 200 is 290 minus whatever goes here should be 240 a union b is 240 fine so so 240 equals 90 plus 200 minus a intersection b 290 minus 50 or this should be 50 this will be 40 this will be 150 both together should be 50 so out of this 250 250 <laughs> neither people who like neither of these proposals 40 plus 60 100 people who like both of these proposals 50 plus 50 is 100 total number of people is 500 we filled out the entire grid we know the whole thing now we can jump to the questions and hopefully the question should be easy to solve the most crucial thing here in this entire set is to recognize that for one of the data sets we are looking at a venn diagram for the other one we are looking at a table for the one when you are putting the whole thing on a table format it is additive this way but not additive this way if 160 people like proposal a and 50 like proposal b then there are not totally 2 10 people because there could be a bunch of people who like both bunch of people who like neither you have to keep that idea open but among people who like proposal a if 160 vote for sunita 90 vote for ragini the totally 160 plus 90 250 that once we crack that one thing where we know that is either sunita or ragini not both not neither therefore you can add and merrily but it is not if you are not voting for proposal a that doesn't mean you voted for proposal b you could have voted for neither you cannot make that assumption once you are clear about that then data captures becomes very simple let's look at questions among the students surveyed who supported proposal a what percentage preferred sunita for student union president among those who supported proposal a proposal a is 250 among this what percentage preferred sunita so out of 250 what percentage is 160 16 by 25 into 100 or 64% 100 by 25 is 4 16 4 so 64 64% percent. what percentage of the students surveyed who did not support proposal a preferred ragini as a student union president who did not support proposal a did not that means proposal a 250 supported did not support this 250 right that means we are leaving out this box right who did not support proposal a sorry not not this part did not support so leaving out a the remaining 250 were keeping in mind wonderful how many of these preferred ragini as a student union president so not a within that how many supported ragini so not a would be 250 within that how many preferred ragini there will be this 150 and this 60 that is b only and neither a nor b out of the 250 people who did not like proposal a 150 like proposal b unlike ragini 60 liked neither but liked ragini or totally 210 voted for ragini the remaining 250 this 90 is what we need to remove out of this 300 Three hundred people voted for Ragini. Within that, ninety supported Proposal A. The remaining two ten did not support Proposal A, but preferred Ragini. So two ten were in the group of not Proposal A but Ragini. 
So 210 out of 250 into 100 is what you're looking for. 21 by 25 into 100 is 21 into 4, 84%. Wonderful question. What percentage of students surveyed who supported both proposals A and B preferred Sunita as a student? Both. Out of this 100, how many, what percentage supported Sunita? 50 out of 100, half or 50%. This table gives everything we need. How many of the students surveyed supported proposal B did not support proposal A and preferred Ragini as student union president? Supported, propo they supported proposal B but not A. Out of this 250, they liked B but not A. That means this 50 we can ignore completely because that entire 50 is sitting inside. Only this 200 we are worried. Even in this 200, this 50 supported proposal A also. So this 150 is what we are looking for. This 150 is people who supported proposal B but did not support proposal A. So far so good. And preferred Ragini as student. The entire 150 prefers Ragini as student. Answer is 150. B but not A but also Ragini. Or within this Ragini, B but not A which is 150. Delightful set. Nice and challenging. You should have picked this set only if you look at set theory and your eyes bulge out and say, okay, I like this. I like this territory. Otherwise, there are enough questions in this slot 2 paper which are solvable and are simpler than this. And But if you like set theory or you like a hint of math sitting inside your puzzles, then you should you should jump at this. But otherwise, you can leave this and still find your marks from elsewhere.